Hey guys, it's Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. A few weeks ago, I did a video on can you cut your finger off with a plasma cutter? And I basically came to the conclusion that while it would burn like the dickens, it's not just gonna sever your finger right off. Now I got quite a few comments on that video, some of them really good, some of them hateful, and a few suggestions. So today, we're gonna go over those comments, and we're also gonna try a few suggestions to see what we can come up with. Let's get started. Oh no, help me. So I knew this was going to happen, and it did. Glockout22 says, did you really eat that? LT Dolphin says, this man ate a raw hot dog. Preston Mountier says, I liked the video until you bit into a cold hot dog. And Matthew Tarnopolsky said, am I the only one who saw him eat a raw hot dog? To that I say, what? <coughs> no, just joking guys. If you didn't know already, hot dogs are already cooked right in the factory. They are smoked or baked and they're perfectly fine eating right out of the package. Now a bratwurst or a sausage would be a little bit different story, but this is no different than eating lunch meat like spam or any other sort of processed meat. Brandon Raspberry says, F this guy, will it cut my finger off? Of course. That is like me making a video saying if I jump off the Empire State Building will I die and then go up on top looking over the edge and saying, yep, end the video. Did you really need a video explaining that? We already effin' knew that. J.C. Did this Brandon guy even watch the video? What? Mitchell026011 says, it's a ground clamp, dummy. You have this working clamp. And Little Will Newell says, it's an effin' ground clamp. Working clamp is the biggest non-existent bullcrap word I've ever heard. Working clamp. To that I say I'm not so sure. And the reason I called this a working clamp instead of a grounding clamp is because I wanted to avoid the hate because I knew some of you would say something about it. But I heard this actually from a manufacturer of a plasma torch maker. And they said that this is a working clamp and not a grounding clamp. Now I can't find that video at the moment. Maybe some of you can chime in. But uh, whatever you call it, it really doesn't matter to me. Working clamp. Athos Long says, establish the arc, then cross the hot dog. Not trying to establish an arc on a hot dog. LOL, who is trying to strike an arc on bare skin? And Michael Sneed says, hot dog on top of grounded metal. You'll need to strike the arc on the metal, then run over the dog. The arc should try to reach its ground, even if a dog is in the way. To this I say, I don't think it's gonna make any difference, but I'm willing to give it a shot anyway. Let's try it out. All right, let's get our clamp situated here. So for this test, we're gonna start the arc and then try to go up and over the dog, which I'm not sure how well that's gonna work because you have to lift up off the metal to get over the top of this. But let's give it a shot. Well, it's pretty much as I expected. This machine is smart enough to know when it's not cutting metal. So as soon as you lift up off of the metal, it turns itself off. So uh, it got quite a bit burnt, but did not slice and dice the finger. Potato7 says, put a hot dog in a glove and last test again, or maybe all three tests. Hossman says, I would like to see you simulate a gloved hand. Stick a hot dog into the finger of the gloves you were using. And Andrew Browner says, can we see the final test with a welding glove included? I think a leather glove would be enough to protect you from any of the tests. Last one might be pushing it if molten metal pulls up on the glove. To that I say, this is really gonna make me sad. This is what, a 12, $14 pair of gloves? But for you, let's give it a shot. Now this test is painful because I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna ruin my glove, but here goes. This one's gonna go in one finger. Come on, baby. How many people have ever done this? Am I the first person to stick a hot dog in a glove? I can't get it in the whole thumb and the forefinger only made it to about here. Now we'll see if this burns. We know it's not gonna slice through, but we'll see if it actually burns the dog. Woo! 
I'd say so. I would say so. I believe your finger would be not too happy right about now. Look at that. Holy crap. Went through that glove like it was nothing. I almost feel like that was worse than not having a glove. Whoo! That would be your finger. Look at that. That's disgusting. Here's the uh, thumb. Yep, sliced right through the glove. I've actually gotten gloves really hot, not while doing this, but while welding and they do shrink a lot so when you burn your glove they just shrink around your fingers and get a lot smaller and crunchy just like that well time for a new set of gloves paul was here says i want to know the best way to cook a hot dog in the shop using nothing but tools we all get hungry while working frederick kaludis says this all goes to the old school demo of a hot dog on two nails with the lamp cord hooked to the nails it cooks the hot dog in about 30 seconds. Now that sounds like a good idea. All right, I made it in 30 seconds. Let's see if it'll cook in 30 seconds. Here goes nothing. Holy smokes, that's scary. I hear it. You guys hear it? <laughs> oh shoot that did not look good sparks were coming out of my hot dog <laughs> Woo. smells like an electrically charged hot dog it's definitely hot though do not try this at home oh not too bad Eric Cole says, what would the plasma cutter do to the wedding ring on your finger? Well, folks, we're not going to find out. No, no, no. Wife would not approve. But if you want to give it a try, I'll accept video submissions. Dixie Devil 1369 says, learn more about what you're trying to talk about before talking about it. That Harbor Freight model probably won't even on its high setting, but bump up to an Esau or Miller or something of the like, and you can bet your junk it will cut through it. To this Dixie Devil guy, I say, this ain't your mama's plasma cutter. This is a very nice $2,000 range plasma cutter. Now, it may not be a ten dollars or $20,000 commercial unit, but it is a good plasma unit. Funny Boy 2.0 says, you should cook the hot dog and keep it warm so you can get better results. Hey, I think we have the hot dog just for that. This doggy is fresh off the homemade cooker, nice and warm. I even tried it. So it didn't seem to make any difference whether it was cold or hot. Dustin Buckley says, blood plasma is not the same as plasma plasma, citation needed. Well, here you go, Dustin. Danny Boy DDD says, you can only plasma cut your finger if you ground to your scrotum. Thank goodness Alex has tested this for us. He says, I can verify this, please, no questions, thanks. Ricky Rick says, stupid video. Seeking Serenity Outdoors answered for me and says, Ricky Rick, yours are way better, I can see, with your two subscribers. Matt Brown says, dude, hot dogs are gross, cold dogs are nauseating, build a jeep or something. King Dingling says, Drew McCarthy says, Zach Frazier says, Aston says, and Brandon says, The Sincere Patriot says, AVE says, 
Keep your junk in a vise. What would actually happen? Well, that's easy enough. That, my friends, is what happens when you keep your junk in a vise. It's actually pretty disgusting. All right, guys, leave your comments below. What would you like to see next? Check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash bleepinjeep. There you can support your favorite creators. Link is below in the description box. Check out our Facebook and Instagram. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching.